Welcome. Today we're checking out A Pale Horse Named Death. The song is Devil Came With a Smile. Enough talk. Let's rock. First off, I gotta really appreciate this album art here, where it looks like the skull of, <clears throat> what is that, like a dog or a wolf or some kind of dinosaur? I don't know, it's, but the, the fog and the tree branches make it look like a skeleton head, and then they're like in a cemetery. That's pretty cool. Okay. Man, I love this guy's voice. Holy cow. <clears throat> they remind me, when it first came in, they really remind me of like White Zombie or Rob Zombie. Um, I know they're completely different, but that's just what I hear, especially the style and the way that he's singing. But he has some some screams coming in. That's awesome. I tell you what, if you want to with that melody too. sold my soul to get on the top to get number one on your american rock charts is that what he says yeah, i think so oh i love his screams I really like that, um, you know, the drums da -da 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 -da, and the guitar and the bass are just, you know, coming up the fretboard. -na 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 -na. Really cool. Oh! 
Oh man, they are going crazy on this. So <clears throat> the lyrics are really, really, really interesting and true. It it shows you from an artist's perspective, right? You know, the devil came with me or uh, came with a smile. He said, sign on the dotted line and we'll make you famous, right? And at the very end, he says, we'll make you homeless and we'll put you in a grave. And, you know, you're, you're nothing but replaceable to these, to these record labels, to the elite, right? Um, the elite companies up there that just rule the charts and they have all the money in the world. You're just replaceable. I think that's why, I mean, that's, that's one reason why Taylor Swift is who she is and how popular she is, right? The record labels helped with that, but when she fought them and when the world found out how much they screwed her over, and then she ended up saying, okay, well, you know, fine, keep that or whatever. She bought it, re-recorded all her albums and now she's keeping a hundred percent of the proceeds amazing and it's hard to do that unless you have the right team but even with the right team i mean the music industry is the devil no doubt about it there's as soon as you sign, the world changes as far as the band, right? You have to fight to the nail to get a little bit, you know, and it's, it's, that's crazy. I'll put you, <laughs> I'll make you poor and I'll make you homeless. Excuse me. I'll put you in a grave that is nameless. People aren't even going to know who you are when I'm done with you. If you turn on me. Okay, so be with us. That's a killer song. I freaking love that. Wow, a pale horse named Death. That has to be a horse head. <laughs> how did I not how did I not get that? Okay. Wow. What a song. They full on call out the music industry here. Or at least record labels and and you know, the, just a crappy, crappy uh, interaction between a label and the artist, right? There's a lot of, uh, you hear Dave Chappelle talk about the artist, and artists hate that because that's how they are referred to in the contracts, right? Everything says, you know, uh, Capitol Records and the artist. It's like, I don't give a shit who you are. You're the artist. That's all you are. Man. Okay. That's crazy. Uh, this was Patreon Request. Thanks for sharing it with me and the community. Let me know what to check out next. I'd love to hear more from these guys. That was awesome. Like I said, I get a total white zombie, rob zombie feel to it. Maybe even like some five finger to it. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it, that was very, very cool. Um, let me know what to check out next. Until next time, stay cheesy, my friends. <laughs>